Hi, my name is Katie. I did some of the videos when I was in seventh grade and I'm in eighth grade. And the title of my talk is Storing and Molten Salt Reactors Approving Public Knowledge and Awareness. Why is energy important? Well, a safe and abundant energy supply will benefit humanity by improving food production and food storage or refrigeration, providing clean water and wastewater systems, and improving the quality of life. In fact, the World Health Organization has highlighted a connection between household energy and health. For example, in Southeast Asia and Africa, burning cow dung, coal or wood, etc., for cooking and light can lead to air pollution and respiratory illnesses. Thorium and MSRs have a great potential for providing safe and abundant power. This potential was supported by the experiments at Oak Ridge National Laboratories. They were led by Alvin Weinberg and were the Aircraft Reactor Experiment, ARE, and the Molten Salt Reactor Experiment, MSRE. They proved to be safe, low pressure, self-regulating, with a smaller quantity and shorter duration of radioactive waste, and many other benefits. However, Timende causa est nescere. Ignorance is the cause of fear. This is a quote by Seneca and is shown since many people oppose nuclear energy. Why? Well, maybe they don't really understand nuclear energy and the chemistry and physics behind it. Then they are afraid of it and this may lead to opposition. What can we do? Well, knowledge is power. Perhaps if we educate these people, then they will understand nuclear power and then they may become more supportive. We need to educate two different audiences, children or students and adults. To educate two children and students, perhaps promoting chemistry and physics at earlier ages would lead to less fear and misunderstanding when learning about nuclear power. Ways we could do this are use unit studies that are fun and exciting. For example, I enjoyed online learning, which occasionally included animations. Traveling interactive exhibits for children's museums and computer games involving chemistry and or physics. I first learned about chemistry at a young age. At age nine, I wrote element comics, and I also have written two plays involving chemistry and physics. It's Elementary, which was produced at a local community theater, and The Great Electron Mystery. There are samples of these in the appendix. <laughs> Adults would benefit from educational materials as well. These materials should include basic chemistry, physics, and nuclear power information. These materials could be multimedia presentations and interesting museum exhibits. I saw an example of this when I received comments on my videos from adults seeking background information. To address these comments, I'm currently creating a new video explaining chemistry fundamentals. I was asked to explain how I became interested in thorium and molten salt reactors. Well, I have always found science to be exciting and fun. And, and, and I've been fascinated with chemistry, physics, and radioactivity for many years. I heard of the nuclear accident at Fukushima, Japan on March 11, 2011. And I wondered how we can make nuclear energy safer. This inspired me to pursue my science fair project, Nuclear Energy. How can we make it safer? For my project, I found information online about Oak Ridge National Labs, molten salt reactors, and lifter designs. I was excited to learn about the potential of molten salt reactors and thorium as a fuel. I constructed both qualitative and quantitative analyses comparing the lifter's behavior to that of a conventional high-pressure light water reactor of today under a loss of power fault. Both these analyses demonstrated the advantages of thorium and molten salt reactors over conventional high pressure light water reactors of today. I also entered a separate science video competition, but I was limited to a maximum of two minutes. <laughs> that wasn't long enough, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I continued making longer videos explaining my science fair project and uploaded them to YouTube. I have a channel called the Katie Science and Arts channel, shown at the link. I try to portray science as exciting and fun with Katie and Casey science videos. Casey is my miniature poodle, she's three years old. I have extended my original science fair project 
and incorporated feedback and adjusted the estimated transition probabilities for the sudden loss of power fault condition. The simulation models can be run with different transition probabilities, enabling me to do this. I would love to have real world data to incorporate in my models. I've since created a new simulation to model a leaks of piping fault condition. I ran these new simulations and recorded the new results. There's more information in the appendix. In summary, energy is very important to the well-being of humanity, and thorium and molten salt reactors are a promising technology with safer reactors and much less and shorter-lived radioactive waste. However, some people are opposed to nuclear power, perhaps because they don't understand it and are hence afraid of it. If we can educate them, then they may understand it better, and then they may become more supportive. It is important to educate both children and adults with fun and exciting unit studies, interactive exhibits for museums, and multimedia presentations. I'm very excited about thorium as a fuel. Thank you for inviting me to the TIAC, and I'm excited to see everyone else's presentations. Katie. You're welcome. She's a. Uh, do we have some questions for Katie? What are you, what are you running for? <laughs> running for? Yeah, for for office. Like, for, you gonna run for president or senator? Maybe. Okay. We got some guys back there that can give you some advice. Um. Why are you getting held back by the public school system? What kind of uh, education do you have, uh, Katie? I'm homeschooled. Can you explain a bit more about these simulations you did? Sure. So, <laughs> what? Go ahead. Okay. So, this, this is a state machine, and the circles represent states that the system could be in, and the, the arrows represent all the events that could lead to the system transitioning to a different state. For example, if the system is in the state of having lost power, event one encompasses all the events that could lead to losing cooling control. And then from there, event zero encompasses all the events that could lead to a stable shutdown. For example, the power was lost and the cooling control was lost, but then eventually the power came back on and the operators were able to shut down the reactor with no release. I estimated what I consider to be reasonable probabilities for each transition. And if anybody has gathered the frequency of losing cooling control after the reactor has lost power versus a stable shutdown, then I could incorporate that easily into my models and I would be excited to see the results. Uh, how well was your work received in this uh, Lukewarm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bronze. Oh. I think it was something to do with what wings of airplanes are more aerodynamic. You mentioned games as a way of teaching children. How would you do a game sort of format for educational things? Last time we were talking about it, there was a joke like you press a button and it goes, press a button and stops. How would you actually make a game out of it? And you could have something where there's a, where there's a, a ship in, one, in the lifter that shoots neutrons and you, the aim is to hit enough thorium to, start a, to keep a reaction going. Something like that. Kim, are your parents scientists? No, they're engineers. Uh. What? Did I say the wrong? Well, at school, what's your friends think of civilian nuclear power? Are they hostile against it? Or? I think my friend Allie liked my videos. <laughs> so what did your science teacher say? Like, did your science teacher encourage you to like, pursue this your interest or did Did your science teacher encourage you to, uh, to pursue this? Well, my parents encouraged me to do this for the science project, uh -huh. and I researched it and I got excited about it. So your parents are your science teachers? Yes, they are. Did, were you able to uh, enlist any other advisors to help you uh, in this project? Did anybody else help you with your uh, videos and projects besides well, your parents? No. Uh, you like Dorian, what do you think of the uranium reactors? Um, 
a bit more unsafe. I just wondered if there was anything else in the appendix. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> I have a steam machine for the lifter. <laughs> And then I have results. <laughs> and simulated, this is the new simulation for the leaks and piping fall condition. Just going to suggest that I think you should maybe make a book and definitely include your comments. Thank you. I think I'd like to do that. <laughs> well, thank you, Katie. You're welcome.